Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So today I decided to make a video for the Resto Shaman UI package. And this package is going to have three different links in the description below and you're able to basically pick and choose whichever part you want. The first part will be my Grid 2 profile. And my Grid 2 profile includes things like Riptide trackers, includes things like uh, shows a light blue color for every target that's hit by a chain heal which is good to see if your chain heal is actually effective or not effective it'll also include all of the Antorus debuffs which will show up in the middle of the grid for all of the healing debuffs that I feel are very very important for healers things like chill blood and Coven of Shivara uh, it'll also show up on the right in a bigger icon so it'll be double the, double the icon so it's really really important so it shows up there so that's my grid to profile now if you want to get the icons and things like that i'm using tell me when i'm not using week or so you have to have a tell me when add-on installed if you have tell me when you'll see the different icons that i have for all of the ma major healing spells that a restoration shaman has it has things like cloud burst healing uh, healing totem healing tide uh, spirit walker's grace and uh, my healing rain after it finishes casting or after it finishes the duration it'll, it'll kind of Indicate it'll flash for a couple of seconds to show you that you should place it again because healing range should almost be, have 100% of the time. Either way, uh, this is a Temi when profile. It will change depending on the talents that you have. If you swap out to, if you swap out to like instead of Cloud Burst, if you swap out into Ascendance or if you swap out to High Tide, it'll, it'll swap the icons accordingly and it should work fine. It's been tested on my trial character, uh, so it should be fine for most part. And the third part is basically a weak aura that is not mine, that I've got from Mago.io, but I was actually unable to find the link to the weak aura that I've got. So unfortunately, I'm going to make a paste pin that you're able to get. So all of the credit goes to the original authors who I can't remember. If you're the original author, let me know. And I'll give you thanks in the video. But either way, this is a Tidal Waves proc orbs every time you're gonna use tidal waves it's going to give you a nice orb indication of either one tidal wave that you have or two tidal waves it's overall a really really, really nice skin or really nice look to the whole restoration sham so once you install a specific part of the ui package if you install the grid too you have to keep in mind that this is what you would look like this is my tell me when add-on package of course you have to keep in mind that there is a few missing parts because it's a level 100 Character is missing the artifact ability, uh, and you can see things like you know your cloud burst totem. It has a nice glow when it's activated. You can click it again to actually release the burst. You have the healing rain where you, if you use the healing rain after the 10 seconds of the healing rain, you'll get the small indicator that's going to glow for around two seconds after healing rain finish casting to indicate that you should cast it again. You can see it again here. But if you have grid two, what you have to basically do, you go to grid two slash grid two and um, you go to profiles you go to advanced and in advanced profiles you click import profile and in the import profile you copy the text from the link in the paste bin and you click accept and once it's accepted you'll get this look and feel of the ui it, it's a little bit different from what i've seen before now keep in mind it does it does have a riptide tracker but in order to see that you know countdown need to have additional add-ons so you need to have omni cc uh, i highly recommend you to get omni cc and omni cc config it'll, omni cc will add cooldowns to basically anything in the game and it'll add cooldown to riptide you also see things like every time you chain heal the color is going to change now the big thing why does my grid 2 texture does not look like it's supposed to look like so you have to keep in mind in order to change the texture of grid 2 you have to go to indicators not general settings indicators once you're in indicators you have to go to health once in health you have to go to layouts once in layout you can choose the frame texture and i'm using grid 2 flat this is what i'm using grid 2 flat why does the font might not look exactly the same as in the videos now in here you have to go to text down because you see text down has a name in text down you have to go to layouts and i use font called hodge xct which is part of xct add-on and xct add-on you can see here actually shows up every time i heal something uh, let's say for example you can see here and then you can see here so it kind of shows up a little bit so it's like kind of like you know tracker for damage and healing i do 
and that's the font that I use. And after you do this, basically everything's configured. Another question, how do I mean, how do I actually move grid to? You go to general settings, you make sure that you're in general, you make sure it's not frame locked. You want to click frame lock, you go to layout, and in layout you click basically test. If you want to test the party frame, you can move that anywhere where you want. You can move it any like you, if you want the top, then you click test again, and there you go. My now my grid two is now showing up here. So this covers the questions for grid. Now if you actually install the Tell Me When, you'll notice that maybe at the start your Tell Me When icons are not going to look anything similar to what they look right like right now. That's just because you need to have an additional add-on called Mask, and Mask is basically a dynamic button skinning engine. So it basically adds skins to different icons, and once you do that, you go to forward slash mask and then you go into the add-ons and make sure that you go into the tell me when option and you select dream this is the one that i use dream you can select anything you want but if you select any other skin it is a high chance i can't move this it's a high chance that the spacing between icons might not be the same because different skins have different icon sizes and things like that so the one that i use is dream and besides that like i mentioned you also have the weak aura Records are incredibly easy to import. You just copy the text from the paste bin, you go to new, and then you go to import, you copy it back again here, you paste it back again here, and that's it. And you'll see exactly what I see right now every time you rip that. You'll see the different icons. And like I mentioned before, the tell me when will change based on the different based on the different things that you choose. It'll disappear here. If you choose high tide, your ascendance is going to be replaced by lava burst, so you're going to be tracking your lava burst instead. If you don't want to use ancestral guidance, it'll start showing your uh, lighting search totem instead. So it's adaptive. And this is basically my whole UI. I'm, I'm hoping that I covered all the questions that you might have. So if you have any frequently asked questions, please watch this video and refer back to it. Uh, most of the problems should be solved here. If you have any more questions, contacting, contact me on Discord or contact me on live on stream. I'll give you the answer straight away. And let me know how you feel about this and I'll see you in my next video.